They say, men live in reality, but like to visit fantasy. But women live in fantasy and hate visiting reality. What used to be a basic institution that everyone had to buy into in early adulthood is now becoming the last step into adulthood. This crisis is the direct result of so many feminists and sola mothers raising children with the help of family courts. How can we hold them accountable for this mess? A new study by the National Center for Family and Marriage Research has revealed that marriage in the United States has declined by nearly 60% in the last five decades. Until divorce law is reformed, marriages will continue to decline. That's what feminism, spoiled people, indoctrination, and gov policies have done to marriage. Not a difficult thing to reason out. It's important to note that as marriage goes, so goes the nation. Strong families are the foundation of any society. Hedonism always takes its toll. Women do not mature faster than men. They excel at social dynamics and social dynamics are heavily rewarded through middle and high school, whereas nothing men excel at is rewarded. Additionally, women learn early that they have something men want, and they learn to manipulate men to take advantage of it. It is predatory, not more mature. Men could be just as predatory as women, but the law and social mores clamp down heavily on men's natural tendencies. If it weren't for misandrous teachers punishing and suppressing boys' natural talents, young boys would not appear so slow to mature. In antiquity, 18-year-old men wrote symphonies and built war machines and conquered nations. Not only financially is marriage a disaster waiting to happen for men, the toll on your mental health is and should be a major concern. Personally, I just felt so exhausted mentally more than physically during my marriage and the thoughts of deleting myself were numerous. Now I'm feeling so much better and those thoughts don't exist anymore. I just feel so much better about my life now. No depression, aggravation or frustration dealing with a lunatic. And she started off well. It just goes to show they will change and not for the best. What sane man wants 100% risk and 0% rewards that come with the marriage contract where the wife is incentivized to divorce for money and assets? Marriage, and for that matter, dating are losing propositions for men and men in ever-increasing numbers are walking away from both. The practice of courting, having a relationship, and marrying does not make any sense anymore. It is a practice that we inherited and need to abolish to supplant it with a better model that reflects present reality. Marital intimacy is especially unsatisfying since who wants to sleep with a woman you just got finished arguing with or has to run off to a business meeting when you are done. No, fellas, don't get married for bedtime intimacy. She'll disappoint you in more ways than you can imagine. And that's because marriage to her is a business, generally speaking. She doesn't really love you. Chances are she's got the hots for that Chad or Tyrone she works with at the office, not you. Save yourself a lot of money and frustration. Consider going your own way. There may be a few exceptions to the above scenario. A limited number of genuine women still exist. We know what marriage could be, what it was supposed to be. We didn't change the rules of the game and we didn't cheapen it to mean just one day to prance around in a disposable, big money wedding dress either. It is this knowledge in the face of prevailing pop culture attitudes that has rendered us indifferent to the proposition of marriage. The one reason the flapping heads dance around and ignore every time the subject is brought up. Men are not done, to be honest. It's just that there are no ladies left anymore. Women do not want to submit to the order of life. Then you have weak men that allow the woman to run all over them and dominate and lead. Women resent that. Media, of course, does not help, but adds fuel to the already fire. And when you talk about the justice system, how can you let the fate of your life rest in the hands of a single person? Justice in the hands of a single judge? Ruining the lives of the children and the man. These judges should be taught some humanity too before giving them the authority to decide a divorce. Why should I or anyone be with someone who only sees me as a transaction? She won't cook for me, she won't clean up, and she won't provide me children that are actually mine. 
yet she will expect me to pay most, if not all of the cost of living. And she will nag and browbeat me into doing what she thinks I'm obligated to do for her. And then there's a greater than 50% chance that she will divorce me and cost me even more money. Yeah, no thanks, ladies. I'm all the way good on that one. As marriage rates drop 60%, the male quality of life has gone up by 60%. Women generally marry the safe bet in their eyes like option two or three. They marry the nice guy, so to speak. Marriage as an instrument isn't the issue. The issue is the laws around that contract, as everyone knows. Technically, it's a lot of work, and many times a lot of people are not compatible with one another. Women from 18 to mid-30s think that have a lot of time to find a partner if that is what she chooses. But in reality, there are many possibilities, but only a few right ones. And finding the right ones take time. When push comes to shove, making a decision under pressure could result in a wrong decision. The decline in marriage also leads to a decline in births. In the USA, the number of births per childbearing woman is down to 1.67. They need 2.1 births to keep the population stable. Two factors are at play here to explain the decline of marriage. First, women make more money than they used to. And women who marry men who make less money than them are exceedingly rare. The more money a woman makes, the smaller her dating pool is and the more likely she is to remain single. Then, a lot of unmarried men have seen their parents go through divorce and have seen how the family court can be unjust towards men. No wonder why they don't want to get married. On 100 marriages, 60 will end up in divorce within 15 years, 30 will be stuck in miserable lifeless marriages, and only 10 will be in marriages where the partners are better off than if they were single. Men have been liberated. Now that the ladies have told us that they do not need us, we finally accepted that men have been set free. I've noticed that my single male friends are much happier than married men. Now, interestingly, the older single women I know are pretty bitter and caustic. They don't like much at all and post awful stuff on social media. What is worse, when they reach an age where they need operations and procedures, they have no support from a husband. This can mean a stay in a rehab hospital for a few weeks rather than recuperating at home. Recuperating at home has much better outcomes. It's like feminism contaminated the whole pool of women. This is an enormous social change. Changes in technology are insignificant by comparison. For thousands of years, men and women have been getting married. This is ending in our lifetime. Poor women used to fall in love with poor men and get married. Now women will stay single indefinitely, believing a rich man will eventually marry them. Society is falling apart. Even though women are women, no matter what nationality, culture, or race they are, they're all the same. But Latinas and Blacks, and even some types of different Asian women are similar too. These three have something in common. They all need an attitude adjustment. It's their poor, ghetto, street mentality and demands, being very loud or vocal, both in private and in public, and start trying to be a man rather than a woman. If you think about it, the marriage rate even correlates with the feminist movement with all of its ramifications. I am amazed how many women want a traditional man, but they don't care to be a traditional woman. Women with the values shown in the opening are not marriage material. She may want a husband to work for her, but if she doesn't work for him, it's no deal. Adultery and fornication are now legal, so no need for a ring to have a child. It used to be derogatory to refer to someone as somebody else's child, as that is the term for one born out of wedlock. And it's not only marriage. Even to couple up, they treat us just as kind of a married couple with all its repercussions. If you were a man, you better think twice about getting married, and of course, never without a proper prenup. I don't even want to talk or be near women at all. That's how I can have peace and security. I am really surprised that men are still marrying with all the facts out here now. It's such a shame because we can and do tell men how it will all end up for sure, and they don't believe the millions of us. Listen up, young men. 
even if you want kids, just have them with a girlfriend or otherwise find a baby mama to co-parent with lol, there's still no need to get legally married. Case in point, marriage should be legally outlawed. It is a crime against men. We need men's or father's rights, right to our children, right to charge off financial responsibility for women who broke their part of that marriage. Marriage just means the government can potentially get involved in your personal life and finances. Thanks for watching Man Reacts. Show us your love and support by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to the channel. And let us know your thoughts on this in the comments. We're always up for a healthy debate and discussion.